was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. I just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. I feel like we're a host of blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Neta. And I am the mother of the sisterhood group. This is Lily. I stay, I live in Cape Town. I was born in Makaza. My name is Joel. I'm from Kensington. My name is Tembi from Cape Town. And my name is Sia and I'm from Kailicha. Hi there, my name is Priscilla. I'm from the Eastern Cape. I'm Gulam and I'm from Cape Town. And I'm here to represent the sisterhood. The sisterhood group is actually is a base on a, a female transgender persons, people. We are a group of sex workers at Sweat. We are forming this sisterhood is a support group for transgender female. I am born as a male, ne? Yes. I got a penis. I know it's a born as a male. But that is not thing. I I feel I feel I'm that a I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a, yes. I feel to dress like a woman. It's something that's my heart. It's something that's my genes. You know, I feel comfortable with women clothes. You understand? Men clothes, I feel very uncomfortable. It's you not understand? Bad. It's not that. People... To me, it's something you feel. I feel comes, like I'm a woman. Really. It's like, it's like, it's like it to me, um, to me, if a woman can stand there naked, and start doing acts for nothing, me. I won't get on for that woman. Yes, this is something you. real. Yes. We are not MSM males who are having sex with male. We are, we are not gay. We are real women. women. I don't believe in transgender it, because I'm truly a woman. A woman. Yeah. woman. But the outside says, says nothing, but yeah, the inside says more. To be a transgender is very difficult, as Nana said. And I call her Nana because she's very, she's, she's older than me, but I'm the mother. Um, you know, I've come a long way. My mother, my bio biological mother, she rejected me. And then I was rejected by my foster um, okay. family as well. And so I think just, just fuck off, just run away and go. And there I found these girls, some of these girls, like none of them, all the others, not these young little ones, you understand? I met all the others, and there I was the youngest of all the girls, and I grew up with them, and they taught me who, that I become a mother today, and that's who I am. I accept myself as a mother, not as a, a woman or a lady, but as a mother, a pure woman. You feel comfortable playing with girls, but um, they will call you Morphe and all this type of things. Luckily, my family came to a point where they understand there's nothing they can do. They had to leave me the way I am. And I was just lucky because <coughs> lots of us is thrown out of home. You had to find your own way. You can't bring friends home whatsoever. But um, I just took it this way. I want to be who I am. I want to love the way I am because otherwise you're not going to be happy. You're not going to feel comfortable in companies. So even up till today, I don't care what the next person say. My life is my life and I love it the way I want. From preschool age, you're really confused, actually. What's yeah. wrong? Yeah. You're confused because at the time you don't know. It's, it's whereby I, I think everyone, almost all everyone, normal girl and woman we are normal as well sorry but i think it's whereby you realize that what is this woman and then you feel so which should i have to choose yeah. which is now you're getting confused because you don't have to choose you understand it's who you are but your parents they will see who you are but it's at, at primary school at the age of primary school you start doing strange things yeah. then but you sit alone all alone in your home and like, Please come on, I'm a boy. I'm a real boy. What's going on? You know how uh, when you go to the age of 12, 13 years, you start having that feelings, you know? I to me, this was a very, very difficult thing, you know? Because I grew up with some of my cousin brothers. They were interested in writing letters to uh, girls. some girls. I <laughs> got feelings for these guys, you know? I never see a... <laughs> yeah, I, I've never seen a transgender uh, person, really. Yes. You know, I was asking myself, you know? Yes. But why my cousins are interested in these ladies? Right, but I'm interested in my cousins. Yes. Right. <laughs>
I was so confused, so I was keeping this. Uh, uh, it's a secret to me. Okay, so as we grew up, and my sister, I just hear the word Mofi, Mofi, Mofi. When you ask some of my other sisters, yes, Mofi, Mofi, Mofi. You know, many people are confused. They even get married, knowing what they are. Yes. And that marriages that didn't last. Don't last, yeah. So I know about so many people that got married. Yes. Because when you come to the age of 30, your people is going yeah, to ask, but where is woman. the girlfriend? Where yes. is the girlfriend? You also feel like everyone, you need a boyfriend at the time. Then every man will just F you and <laughs> that's done. But at the time you feel so, s come on, I need someone who I can share everything with. And you know, but it's just that one night stand and then it's gone. For me, it was not important how they feel. It was not important what they are going to say. It was not important what they are going to do. What was important, it was how myself I am feeling what I'm going to do today, what, what is the day going to treat me, because whatever negatives they are saying, just give, give me strength to carry on, because, you know, it, it's going to be the negative today, tomorrow it's going to be another negative. Then, uh, uh, I, uh, the, here in this world, I must know that it's, it's not perfect. I think I came from a family who was very understanding to me, at first, like n n not as understanding as in now, but at first, I would say my mother like was very difficult when it comes to what did I classify myself as a man, was I a female, and then it came to a situation whereby she told me that she's not going to stay with me anymore because I, I'm, I come from a Christian family, which I used to go to church in early age, and she couldn't understand because she said to me when I was very young I was like very butch, like a boy who played with the boys, although I had friends with girls, all of that, and it's now. And then my mother told me that, no, I don't think you're go I'm going to cope like staying with you because some of the people, they're going to ask what kind of child do I have and all sort of things. It was so a shock to my father that his son, like me, son okay, his, so his son is son. in love with so a man, you know. <laughs> so my dad was a bit confused. Ooh. So what my dad do, my dad sent me to doctors and there was some blood yeah, testing. They took me, they did it in Jovatina and <laughs> the Eastern Cape. From there, they took me to Sangomas, the Sangomas tell me, I must go and be Sangoma also, you know, it was, uh, to him, I know, I, I disappointed him, you know, but uh, the way the social workers and uh, teach, my teachers convinced him, he accepted me the way I am, you know, he always stand by me because he didn't understand. So by him, he said, my dad was taking me as maybe I'm like a disabled person, he was feeling so shame for me. By, by the time that I turned 16, my mother accepted straight because she said, you're my child. And you can be whatever you want to. Yes. Until you lay in a sick bag, I will be at your side. You like Until you bury, like you, you will. You if you go to jail, I will stand by you. you because like there's no matter what people say outside. In high school, I used to, in my own first, I know that I'm not, I, saw, uh, I have to go <laughs> in the boys' toilet. I'm like, but I, I, I'm not going to, because I'm so scared of, uh, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to enter in the girls' toilet. I'm a girl, and they used to dress dresses at school, at high school and I matriculate doing that. You know, uh, uh, sex working to us, it's a job, you know. Some of us can support our families, some of us can, can support the kids. You know, uh, unemployment is too much in South Africa, everybody knows it. And there's more than 100,000 sex workers here in South Africa. So you can't find jobs, so what we have to we do? Our they got to sell our bodies. bodies. Have to sell sex. And that is what we enjoy. Right, girl? Yes, yes. we all shall be equal by law. And government is starting to realize that it, it just can't stop somebody to be somebody. Because nobody is a nobody. And somebody is somebody. As we all are. We are all human beings. And we are all fighting for one thing to decriminalize sex work in our country. Because uh, what's the use if government can't support us? Why can't we support ourselves? And the fact remains is we're just women. We're not criminals. We want only guys to accept us for who we are, for the person that we is, and we don't ask special treatment from anyone, only your acceptance. I don't think uh, sex workers uh, got, the, uh, got freedom in South Africa, really. I mean, this is my body, isn't my it? Business. This is my body. I can go to the bathroom and do whatever I want to do with my body. How can the government control my body? then I'm not living in a, in, a, in a democracy. 
I'm not free it's my because body, the my government is controlling me. And like me, when I went to court, the cop who was in charge tell me, but then the judge was the one who was like, no, she's a woman. And I was like, and I stand up and then my case was also withdrawn. So I just think our government is just has to be educated on these things. You know, some guys get very cross when they find out, oh my goodness, I thought this is a woman, I but this woman, like me. this woman got a penis. Ooh. Someone even kill you. I was really yes, killed yes, once. Yes. I was really killed. You know, that guy really wanted to kill me. So I can face my fears and go to the police station and say, me. I've been raped by this guy and this is his number plate. And there's an organization oh, like Sweat come in because it's a tall free yard line. Oh, and under the for 60 to help you in the days of need. And I met this beautiful, handsome guy on a ship and dance on a dance floor. Then I won't just poop out and tell him, you know what? I'm not a straight woman. I'm Thank this. You. So I don't think it's easy also for, it, for your clients to say that and that. that. Because it's you who first wanted that guy to know you. What's the use of being a sex worker and do not educate your client on what you are? Because in there's many ways that you can get hurt, even get killed. And that was used to happen in past times. If you go around, before you even take the first step, you have to let him know what you are. I'm a male. I'm a female. It's a strap in a male's body. But I can do anything as a woman can do, and I can do it better. But no man will come and approach with me. They only want dark things. So, some guys, they don't want to even kiss you. They just want to come, oh, please come, turn around. And <laughs> you feel like, I'm, I'm feeling, I must do this. Is it, is it fine? Must I do this? Must I continue doing this? And he's like, eh, eh, eh. Um, you see, as I'm lying down, I'm lying. I just slip my cock. Um, Coming inside, so and I lie on my bed, oh, and then he's fucking me. So I also get that jiki 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 like. I'm a man, and then the man is fucking me. He's busy using his cock in my anus, and then <coughs> what am I feeling? And then he's going to, he's actually going to ejaculate in me, and then he's busy fucking me. So why am I not using my penis? They always ask that question. Uh -huh. I say to them, no. While he's busy fucking me, there's something. I, I, I also feel something. There's a bonding. There's a connection between the yeah. two of us. So while he's fucking me, if he's going to come. I'm also going to come because I feel something <laughs> in my anus. Exactly. exactly. You know, at first time, I always feel like that they make a man to not see. I can make a man to not see by making him stupidly tell him that I'll let me be a rider, let me ride you, baby, and do all those stuff. So the man will be like, okay, okay, he's getting crazy about this sexy, beautiful woman. Then I'll keep my thing and uh -huh, that's it done. So you won't see, but later, if I want, I will show him that. Then he will be so, but I tell him that you've done the thing and then it's done. It, it's, it's not most, a turn off actually. I more think most men it's not a turn off. They actually like it because some of them they said they prefer men with, although they're straight, but they prefer you to have a big dick when they're fucking with that. They like to play with it and it makes mm -hmm. them to come very easier. I can't fall in love. I've, never I've, I've got a gift of falling in love with myself and you know accept myself who I am and then, but I I, I didn't actually can love. Yes, uh, maybe, but uh, never fall in love with men. <laughs> if a guy just proposed me, say I love you, I just watch him and think, do you know what is love? I was in a relationship uh, in Pretoria for about six years, and I still love the guy. My boyfriend is in jail. I left him in jail last year since I came back to bed my father. I was in love. I know it's love. I went six years with that man. We are also human beings. We are living a normal life. We are not crazy. If they can't accept us, why couldn't? Uh, why can't we? Because we already accept ourselves. Family members accept us. No other community. We are just plain human beings. We just need our little space to be free. Uh, my dream is actually to see myself like finishing my studies and being in my own environment, being my own boss and being married with a man that I really love. I'm just wondering, is for me and all my sisters, all of us, to be accepted. Like all I ask the community is to accept us okay. and um, so that we can go on with our lives and live a yeah. life like the straight people is loving them. My dream and my wish is just to be happy in my life and my wish that for the next generation to, f to, not, went, to not walk what I've went through. My dream is to live in a picket, white picket fence house, married, with children, 
and for the world to see. My dream is to see myself having a good, good job. Happy. Yeah, to be happy and having a good job. Uh, my dream is to be a running businesswoman. There's only one thing I'd say. How does Lady Gaga say? I was born this way yes. and I will die this way. Yes. And that is me. For transgender females. I am born as a male. Ne? Yes. I got a penis. I know it's a born as a male. But that is the nice thing. I, I feel. I feel that I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Yes. I feel to dress like a woman. It's something that's my heart. It's something that's my jeans. You know, I feel comfortable with women clothes. You understand? Men clothes, I feel very uncomfortable. It's you understand? Bad. It's not that. To me, it's something you feel. I feel it's like I'm a woman. Really. It's like, it's like, it's like it me, um, to me, if a woman can stand there naked, and start doing acts for nothing, me. I won't get on for that woman. Yes, this is something you. real. Yes. We are not MSM male see, who having sex with male. We are we not are gay. We are real women. I don't believe in transgender it, because I'm truly a woman. A woman. Yeah. woman. But the outside says there's nothing, but yeah, the inside says more. To be a transgender is very difficult, as Nana said. And I call her Nana because she's very, she's, she's elder than me, but I'm the mother. Um, you know? <laughs> it was a can. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. Feel like a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled up. But it's nice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Neta. And I am the mother of the sisterhood group. This is Lily. I stay, I live in Cape Town. I was born in Makaza. My name is Jal. I'm from Kensington. My name is Tembi from Cape Town. And my name is Sia. And I'm from Kailicha. Hi there, my name is Priscilla. I'm from the Eastern Cape. I'm Gulam. And I'm from Cape Town. And I'm here to represent the Sisterhood. The Sisterhood group is actually is a based on a, a female transgender persons, people. We are a group of sex workers at Sweat. We are forming this Sisterhood is a support group. I've come a long way. My mother, my biolog biological mother, she rejected me. And then I was rejected by my foster um, okay. family as well. And so I think just, just fuck off, just run away and go. And there I found these girls, some of these girls, like none of them, all the others, not these young little ones, you understand? Mm. I met all the others. And there I was the youngest of all the girls and 